If the video touches, your heart give it a like, and if you are new to this channel, please, stay tuned by subscribing, the channel, thanks everyone. If youth is a defect, it is, one we outgrow too soon. The light at the end of the, tunnel is just the light of, an oncoming train. Art is the triumph, over chaos. In a dark time, the eye begins, to see. The mind is a city like, London, smoky and populous. There are dark streets, and bright streets. I am tired of love. I am still more, tired of rhyme. Every man his own map maker, with symbols and abbreviations, of all his own invention. Nothing is more important, than that you see and love, the beauty that is right, in front of you. The business of poetry is, to examine particulars. The best of it is, when you forget your, writing, forget your, typing, and it all, becomes one. Poetry is not a healing, lotion, an emotional, massage, a kind of, linguistic aromatherapy, neither is it a blueprint, nor an instruction manual, nor a billboard. If only for the sake of, elegance, I try to remain, morally pure. It is impossible to part, ways with one's own, reflection. If you, have a sense of, style and purpose, you don't want to, compromise. Poetry is prose, bent out of shape. The artist is extremely, lucky who is presented with, the worst possible ordeal, which will not actually, kill him. At that point, he's in business. The light is, everything. The sweetest honey is, loathsome in its own, deliciousness. Why not say, what happened? Life studies teach, you how to live. You do not need to leave, your room. Remain sitting at, your table and listen, do not even listen, simply, wait. Do not even wait, be still and solitary, the world will freely offer, itself to you to be, unmasked, it has no choice, it will roll in ecstasy, at your feet. Freedom is a dark, and vast continent. Happiness is not to be, found with many efforts, or will, but is here, nearby, in your relaxing, and surrendering. I can only breathe, through words, silence is suffocating. The soul is a garden bed, where the weeds grow, and the flowers die. The light at the end, of the tunnel is just the, light of an oncoming train, we are flawed creatures, all of us. Some of us think, that means we should fix, our flaws. But get rid, of my flaws and there, would be no one left. Man is crazy, and his madness is, cured by the gods, only with the sweet, intoxication of, poetry. The artist who lives in, isolation is probably not. An artist at all. A journey into darkness, is always worth, the effort. The truth can only be, recalled, never invented. No one has ever written, painted, sculpted, modeled, built, or invented except, literally to get out, of hell. Poetry is a sort, of homecoming. 
If poetry is an art, it's also a craft. All my life, I've felt like, somebody's after me, no, not after me, I mean, after my mind, and my thoughts. I see the mind as a tree, with both roots, and branches, my poetry is always, concerned with roots, and with the language, that is at the root, of all poetry. Memory is a kind of, accomplishment. There are no constraints, on the human mind, no walls around the human, spirit, no barriers to our, progress except those, we ourselves erect. We cannot fight against, power except by power. The love we have in our, youth is superficial, compared to the love that, an old man has for, his old wife. The only way to overcome, sadness is to consume it, to plunge into it. For a true writer, each book should be, a new beginning where, he tries again for something, that is beyond attainment, he, should always try for, something that has never, been done or that others, have tried and failed. Life is a pilgrimage, and the wise man does, not rest until he reaches, his destination. The struggle of literature, is in fact a struggle to, escape from the confines of, language, it stretches out, from the utmost limits of, what can be said, what stirs, literature is the call and, attraction of what is not, in the dictionary. The only true paradises are, the paradises that, we have lost. The world is a ship on, which we are all, passengers. If we see light, at, the end of the tunnel, it's the light of the, oncoming train, my poems are almost, always beginnings, it's as if I were starting, a painting or a novel, or a big house, and only, got the frame done. But there's enough in that, frame to hang on, the wall and say, that's a poem. The creative act is not, performed by the artist, alone, the spectator brings, the work in contact with, the external world by, deciphering and interpreting, its inner qualifications and, thus adds his contribution, to the creative act. There's a certain, nostalgia and romance in, a place you left. The future is somewhere, inside us, but it's, impossible to see, without our past. The, best poetry is always, a revolution of the heart. The self is always seeking, itself and it's this self, that poets work to explore, and reveal. We are all in a sense poets, by necessity, driven to the, imagination to make our, lives livable. When you have lived, as long as I have, you will know that any, emotion, if it is sincere, is involuntary. Poetry is an act of violence. It's a violence against our own complacency and against the complacency of the world around us. It's good to feel that your poetry is more than just your poetry, that it is part of the world, that it's a voice in the conversation of humanity, Poetry is the language of feeling. It's the language of emotion and of the heart. The imagination is a weapon of resistance against the forces of conformity and oppression. Poetry is a way of honoring the mystery and complexity of human experience, of celebrating our humanity. Thank you very much, 
for watching the video till the end.